Here are my perks, quirks, and irks for the 2019 Mazda CX-5 Signature Edition. An irk is that the turn signals aren't LED, even though the rest of the lights are. A uh, little quirky thing is that, yes, the fog lights are LED, but they're pretty tiny. And just to give you some perspective, just at the bottom of your screen right there, that's kind of how small they are. I think they could have made them a little bigger. Uh, a perk is the front end design. It's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and sticking with Mazda's continued design language. And another perk is just the design of the car. It's, it just looks absolutely beautiful. So the front doors have handles that are a little lower than the rear doors. And I know, it's, I think that looks weird. And I know they can't do it for the design side of it, but just, I don't know, you can't really notice it from far away. I guess you can now that I mentioned it. Um, but that was one of the first things that I noticed. It's just kind of a weird -y kind of thing. Uh, going to the rear, a perk for me is that the rear turn signals are orange as opposed to red. Um, I just can't stand red tur turn signals because they just kind of blend in with the brakes and just not my thing. Uh, but if I irk again is that they're not LEDs like the rest of the car is. Uh, anyways, let's jump in to the rear seats. Let's unlock the doors first. <laughs> that might help. Nice simple design here. Really, really like that. Uh, a quirk and a perk for me is that the heating controls for your rear seats are here because you know they're usually there by the vents um, another cool thing is you just lift this up storage and your usb for the rear passengers i really like that plus the cup holder so it's really multifunctional full marks to you mazda on that i'm going to change gears pardon the pun but not really what i like actually what i love about the rear uh, cargo section of the vehicle it's a 40 20 40 split you can see the different spots for seats. So let's take the right side seat down. Pull tab. Um, it goes down all the way to the seat and the front is too uh, far back. On this side, this controls both seats. This controls the middle seat. So you don't have to kind of go here and then go to the back seat to get that middle part down. Like on, it's such a smart idea. All you do take this, I'm gonna pull that, and the middle goes down. And then obviously, if that was up, the middle part, you just push that, and then everything goes down. Uh, again, my seats are too far up, too far back to have these go down. Um, anyways, yeah, that's a very cool quirk there. Another cool thing uh, for the CX-5 is like, get my hand in here. In the spare tire, there's the Bose amp. How smart of a use of space is that? Well done, Mazda. Full marks all around. Um, one touch button, closing it up. You don't have that kick your foot in the back side of the car thing to get it open. Um, I don't really care about that, to be honest. <laughs> uh, quirky part is the memory seat position is actually on the seat as opposed to it being like usually around here. So that's kind of cool. One thing I really like, and I kind of almost didn't get it. If you take a look at the brake pedal, there's that little part that's cut away there on an angle as opposed to, well, I guess it's there too, but it's more pronounced here. Um, so when your foot's here, um, you know, I'm gonna see if I could show you. Um, let's see, get rid of the volume on that. Um, yeah, anyway, so there's my foot. There are my feet. <laughs> so yeah, my foot just kind of rests up on an angle there. So I think if there was the full square or rectangular pedal, um, it may catch the uh, left side of my boot or shoe. So I really like that Mazda had that little attention to detail there as far as kind of being in that little cutaway. Well done. Let's put the four ways off. Let's get through the rest of this stuff because I don't want the video to be too long. There's my sheet, sorry about that. It takes regular gas and you get a bunch of horsepower, 227, um, but you can throw a premium in and uh, get 250. So that's kind of a, a perk if you want more power for whatever it is that you're doing. Heated wheel. It's great that the button is there, nice and easy to get to. It's a little weird because only this part to this part heats up. That's hot, top of the wheel, bottom of the wheel is cold so pretty much that can i reach it yeah i can basically the span of my hand is where the hot uh, the heated part is um and uh, again top and bottom is not so a little weird little quirky another quirk is for as technologically technologically advanced as this car is it still has a shout out to the old school world so this, a lot of the older cars have this so that's your dimmer and that pretty much gets rid of all the light on your dashboard turn it up get a little beep and back of light comes. Just think that's a little weird, um, but kind of cool and quirky. So let's go quirk with that. A big irk for me, and it might be my little OCD or just, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Right now, I've got a little less than a quarter tank of gas and the needle is straight up and down 
um, at 180 degrees or zero degrees, depending on how you count it. But if it goes to empty, then it just shifts over to the left and it just, it's not balanced and that just, <laughs> it just gets me and it's weird. Uh, same thing with the RPMs because they're mirrored on the left side and right side. Um, it would have to be at a thousand for it to be straight up and down again. That's just a weird, quirky, weird, irky thing for me. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's my two cents on that as far as kind of being a little out of the ordinary. Uh, the interior finish is beautiful. The seats are absolutely gorgeous. They're comfortable. Uh, lots of side support. Not as much side support as I'd like. Um, and they're not as long as I'd like as far as the seats go. I'm going to see if I can show this to you. Um, but yeah, so I'm sitting all the way back and like there's that much space and it just my foot feel or my leg kind of feels like it's just kind of hanging out and it just, yeah. Um, maybe in the next one, some manual thigh extenders, Mazda. Uh, there's a color heads up display. I don't think we, yeah, we can't really see it. Let's, uh, anyway, it's a color heads up display and it's really, really cool. And I'll, we'll do that maybe in the next video. Uh, what else? Uh, heated seats. And I don't know if this is on purpose or not. So everything's off. So heat rises. So that's why the heated seats are at the top and the cooled seats are at the bottom. You know, Mazda could have gone beside each other for that. Um, but I really like that they just kind of did that little quirky thing for me as well. An irk, 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 irk is that there are empty panel switches. Come on, this is the most expensive CX-5 you can buy at almost $41,000 and you have four out of the six panel switches blank. Grr. Anyways, uh, along that line, there's another blank switch right there. And that's the heated wheel. I don't know, I just call them like I see them, right? The A-pillar speakers, very cool, very, very cool. Uh, the Bose uh, 10 speaker system is in this um, specific uh, trim. What's weird is that it's not centered, or not, the word Bose isn't at the bottom, it's kind of angled off towards uh, the front of the car. Again, my little OCD-ish. Um, Jay says it should be level, so it's, yeah. Anyways, uh, my two cents on that. Let's quickly wrap the video up. What else do we have? Uh, volume knob is there. Uh, volume knob, volume controls are there. Nothing here because, you know, there's not really a place to put it. So not as bad as the old Hondas without a volume knob, period. But a little quirky that it's there. It kind of took me a couple of days to get used to it. You can only put it in sport or normal. Um, that's it. No eco mode. Um, I don't know. Weird. Um, yeah, my two cents on that. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, no panoramic sunroof. I think they'll do that next year, I think. But uh, there was just your regular rectangular roof. Uh, and I think, yeah, I think they could probably squeeze it in there because there's nothing uh, as far as rear entertainment or anything that has to run through there. So yeah, ooh, eight minutes. Let's uh, cut this video off. Let's end with a logo. Quirks, Perks, Irks 2019 Mazda CX-5 signature. Overall, a great vehicle. My and my Irks and are just my own. I don't know if anybody else would share them, but uh, oh, eight minutes, 15 seconds. Let's wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching everybody.